educated at the Middle Temple in 1679, Verdi first entered the House of Commons in 1685 in Boston, alongside his brother, Lord Willoughby de Eresby, and generally inclined towards the Tories. In 1689, Verdi did not choose to stand, and Sir William York, a Whig, was returned alongside Lord Willoughby. In 1690, when Lord Willoughby was called to the House of Lords by writ of acceleration, Peregrine was returned at the ensuing by-election. However, he now showed leanings towards the Whigs, and solicited his half-uncle's brother-in-law, Han. When his younger brother, Norris, died in 1691, he appealed to the king, through his uncle the Marquess of Carmarthen, to obtain Norris' commission as a guidon and major in the second troop of horse guards for himself. Peregrine did not obtain his brother's commission, but was rewarded with a court appointment in 1692 as vice-chamberlain to Queen Mary, after Jack Howe was turned out of office. He was appointed vice-chamberlain of the household in 1694, perhaps to encourage his loyalty to the court. Over the next few years, he continued to slowly move into the Whig orbit, and was made a privy councillor in 1695. The attainder of Sir John Fenwick in 1697 placed Bertie under severe political strain. Most of the Bertie family opposed the attainder, while it is unclear exactly what role Peregrine took, his conduct was sufficiently lukewarm to earn the severe displeasure of King William. His office as vice-chamberlain was saved through the intercession of Sunderland, the chamberlain, but the incident appears to have stimulated him to complete his transition from Tory to Whig. He did not stand for re-election in Boston in 1698, perhaps partly due to tensions with his father, who remained a Tory. However, after his father's death, he returned to Parliament in the December 1701 election with the support of his brother, now Earl of Lindsay. Lindsay remained a Tory, however. In 1706, he exchanged offices with Thomas Coke, receiving the sinecure of a teller of the exchequer.